Hi, JJ Shirmaster here again with another Halo figure review. Um, today, like I said, is another old one. My all my figures are old-ish. Today I have one from Series Seven, but it was from the game Halo Wars. So here I introduce Sergeant Forge. Again, to stand up. There we go, Sergeant Forge, everyone. Zooming on his face. I don't know why, but he's like looking to the right. As you can see here. He's got the legendary symbols on his chest. Hold on. Yeah, right there. Alright, now let's move on to what he comes with. Um, he comes with the big shotgun, which is right here. Hold on. Okay, here it is. Here's the big shotgun. Pretty good, but no peg hole. It's a pretty good shotgun, but there's no peg hole. Pump handle is pretty big, so. Alright, he also comes with two frag grenades. I honestly didn't want this figure until um I saw it in the store and I was like wow I just gotta get this one and I did but these two frag grenades they don't come with pegs because it's just the little hole back there where the peg would go in so let me show you where it goes um right here on Sergeant Forge's butt there are two pegs on his belt there are two pegs where you just stick the, put the peg into the hole and that's it simple as that um, grenade fell and that's it now he's holding two frag grenades on his belt okay so um yeah he also comes with one more thing he comes with his little pistol. In my opinion, this is the best pistol that that McFarlane has ever made for the Halo series. Just because it's so detailed and it's actually fully painted. It's got that like silverish gray and black pattern on it. It's how a pistol how a pistol should look. Although it is small, so you can't really fit it into a spot's hand too easily but he can hold it pretty easily hold on give me a second okay he's holding it now simple as that he just got slided in and that's it and he can hold his frag grenade hold on let me take it off without him falling hey. Like so. There he is. He's holding his frag grenade, but it fell out. Now he's dead. Boom. Now, okay, now let me move on to the articulation. Just gonna put the grenade back on him. Okay, this guy actually has really good articulation. His head moves 360 because it's on the ball joint. So the arms. There's actually a few points of articulation in the arms, actually. First, I'm going to start with the hands. The hands are on a swivel. The, the hands go 360, and they move back and forth. 
her gauntlet moves 360 elbows move and look right here like the, the bicep moves 360 also same thing with that arm you got you actually do have um waist articula not really waist but more like chest or mid body articulation right here look so yeah that's pretty cool oh here's one more thing um the legs can actually go out that far which is pretty cool because they never had one that goes that far not even the mongoose pack and these are good and the feet they just like move side to side not really too much with the feet as you can see here it comes with a little holster where you can actually if you lift the little flap you can put the pistol in it see that see that all you gotta do is like put the flap back on it and there is pistol in his holster just like that okay so that's about it for this figure review cuz it's really not much with him just a good figure in general I highly recommend buying him if you can they should probably still have them like at a toy store or something I go to Toys R Us to buy mine so yeah the only thing I can't find is the white armor pack which I really extremely want just cause I want another white figure alright so yeah that's about it for this figure review I leave you off with a close up onto Sergeant Ford's face thank you for watching please subscribe